In this lesson, I want to show you how you can approach animation in PowerPoint. Well, obviously, you have the animations tab. As you click on any item, you have several animations to choose from. You can even open this up and select more entrance effects. Here you have even more animations. And you can preview the animations one by one to see what do you prefer, what do you like, what do you think looks good. But if you are lazy and you need to animate much slides, you can even select everything, everything at once, or press Ctrl or Command A. I'll just deselect this one by pressing the Shift key and clicking on it, because I want no animation on these bars. And I go to Animations and, for example, press Fade. Then I go to the Animation pane, and as I told, since I'm lazy, I'll just click and check out which object is which animation, and by doing nothing else than delaying it a little bit, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay? And this even more, uh, you can also select this like that, but that's not always in handy. I delayed, and this is what I would achieve. To be a bit more fancy, I see those objects should be animated differently. So I click on this object, and instead of staying with the fade animation, I'll, for example, select the wipe animation. Certain animations have their effect options, and I can click here, and I want the wipe to happen from top. Because it should be wiped, it should appear to the screen like that. I also click on this object, and I change the animation to wipe, and also from top. Now, one thing has happened. As you click on a new animation, PowerPoint by default is making this on click. But you can right click on it and you have three options here. On click, with previous, after previous. I can for example select with previous and delay it a little bit or select after previous which will automatically make this animation after the previous one. But this doesn't really matter. I want, in this case, I want to delay it manually like that with previous delay and this is my first animation. The slide goes slowly in and the slide immediately goes to the next slide. Why is that? Because on the transitions tab, I have selected that after all animations and after one second passes, it should immediately go to the second slide. If you are holding a presentation and you need more time, you just deselect this option and select on mouse click. Now, if I would preview this animation, the slide would stay on the screen until I'm finished explaining what I wanted to say in this slide. As I click my mouse, it proceeds to the next slide. The same thing happens if you select on the animations on click. Unless you are clicking, nothing else will happen. The second animation was selected on click, so until I don't click my mouse, nothing will go forward. All right. To show you an example on another slide, you can approach each thing the same way. You select group of items, you click on one animation, and then you start to adjust this animation. One important thing to remember in PowerPoint, the best thing is to make animations at the beginning because later, if you copy this text, for example, I copy it to the next slide because I'm using the same text over and over again, it already has the animations and I would not have to edit it manually, but this time, I've made this presentation without any animations and I want to show you a cool trick. Let's say you have a boring bullet point slide like this. You've clicked on fade. You see certain fade options has appeared and not each version of PowerPoint has that, but you can adjust this by double clicking here and going to the effect. A little bit nicer if the animated text is animated by word or by letter, not all at once. Look, what difference does it make? It slowly fades word after word instead of this entire group. And this looks really cool on a slide. You see? See the difference in the next ones? Okay, this should be on click. It is, okay. And what else can you do? I'm quite sure that the Mac version from 2011 doesn't have the dim effects, but I'm not certain because it varies from version to version. But that's not so important. If you have PowerPoint 2013 or the newer versions, you can select after animation effects on the fade option. 
I'll for example select it should dim to the gray color and this looks really interesting because once I have my animation here and the next animation goes in this one is dimmed also the second one should be dimmed well now I've selected everything but you get the idea you can adjust each animation to be dimmed like that and it will disappear once I'm explaining the next concept a few students of me told me that they have an error and don't see those timeline icons. That's no problem, just right click on it and hide or show the advanced timeline. If you hide it, you have only information about the certain elements. But if you show the advanced timeline, you have those little elements which help you to animate the entire slide. Thank you very much for your attention in the lesson about animation. I hope this was interesting for you because it's a bit more complex topic, but once you get it and once you train it on a few presentations, there is absolutely no problem working with animation in PowerPoint.